Hello there, we got a lot of team reviews to cover. Today, we have a tallest team in MK Mobile. Thank you so much, Ear International, for recommending this team on Reddit. I was actually impressed. So, we have three people sorted by their height. First, we have Shao Kahn. His height officially from official sources is 7 feet 2 inches. Pretty high, pretty tall. Taller than me for sure. Definitely like probably like two Raidens. Raiden Raiden is super short, so it's like half of the Shao Kahn. Uh, then we have Kintaro, who is slightly taller, seven uh, feet nine inches, and also cute as a button. And then for the final guy, we have a Goro that is the tallest of them all, eight feet and two inches that's like three radians can you imagine can you imagine the size of this man and he can snap uh, my radian with his pinky finger that's that's impressive what, what can i say so we're gonna play the tallest team today uh i decided to go for uh the gold goro because otherwise kintaro would feel very underwhelming but honestly i'm a huge fan of kintaro i really like this character his gear makes him into a god it makes him uh, apply bleeds left and right, and he gains damage boost against enemy uh, enemies affected by bleed or poison. So this guy, combine him with Ravnus Melina and combine him with uh, Classic Reptile, absolutely dominating things. The only problem is that he's a gold card, so you can only have three gears, and uh, he's pretty squishy. But while he's alive, he's going to be melting people. So let's 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 take a look today. We we can. Expect him to do some great things today as well, I think. And Shao Kahn is there just to take the punches, because he's pretty tanky. He's a chunky tanky boy. Alright. Kintara, time to show what you got. Let's apply a bunch of bleeds. Bleed, bleed, bleed. Shazam. Bleed. Okay, let's take out. We got Goro Boro. Bam! Slap her with two arms. You suck. This is not a brutality. I'm totally fine with that. Shao Kano's specialty also deals Impressive. massive damage. Like, absolutely massive. Boss. Let's apply a billion bleeds. Oh my god, this team is this team is very annoying. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk my life for this. Oh <gasps> no, he gonna heal! Okay, we gotta we're gonna take him down and then do brutality to him. Or just die, that also works. Let's put a bunch of bleeds on him. Bleed! Nah, Kintara suck. Kintara sucks so much. His combos are so easy. Oh my god, and his special two has the shortest range in the entire game. He has the longest arms, but the shortest range. What the hell? And now we just do brutality. Bye bye. No head. Beautiful. Now we're gonna st stun him. And now we're gonna sacrifice my Kintara. And of course he gets Revenant. I mean Bone Shield. I don't know, Kintaro feels very clunky, like his gear on paper is supposed to turn him into a god, but it feels very, very, very clunky. Look how tall all these guys are. And honestly, it, it kind of follows... Okay, the Goro should be taller than Kintaro, so I guess... Shao Kahn, yes, he's definitely the shortest out of three of them, but... Not... 
not entirely correct for the Goro. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's see what we can what we can do here. Maybe maybe Kintaro can actually start pulling some punches because so far I haven't been impressed. All right, let's see. Let's put a bunch of bleeds on this man. Nice. Too bad his bleed doesn't stack. Imagine if you could stack his... Wait, is there a piece of gear? I think there was a piece of gear that can stack bleeds. If that can be combined on Kintaro with his gear... Oh my god, this man is going to be a god. Now, this is what I like to see. Weak team to make my guy feel incredibly powerful. Look at all those arms. So many possibilities. So many punches that can be delivered into people's stupid faces. <laughs> oh man, that is nice. Alright, let's go then. is full don't make me laugh don't make me laugh <laughs> <laughs> well done <laughs> oh this team is fun the tallest team in the universe i just realized if you see one of these people in real life you're going to like even me i'm going to be like up to the nipple level or something like that's that's ridiculous how tall they are i'm usually like for me i'm pretty tall guy like 6'3 it's very rare for me to look up to somebody like usually most of the people are at the same level or shorter than me so i'm like when i see somebody who i need to look up to it's like very rare and weird but imagine these guys like i would feel like a baby near him but I probably wouldn't feel like that for long because they would snap me in half. Which is kind of sad. But also understandable. Yeah, these bleeds don't stack, which is a problem. But still, you can pretty much maintain a character. Oh, wait, how did I just stack two bleeds? What was that magic and sorcery? How do I do that again? Does... Does the bleed from his passive stack with the bleed from Vial of Infinite Blood? That's my question. My god, he's slow. He is one of the slowest cards, honestly. But he's so cute, I'll forgive him. <laughs> Alright, let's go down! And continue this beautiful journey. My Shao Kahn gets deleted. I can't afford that to happen. Like, the range in his attacks is so short, I have to, like... Wow, Kintaro is an absolute trash. How can he have such a short range? Like, I cannot hit anybody. And slow, and short-ranged. Wow, what a shame. Such great potential, so wasted.
Like, he will miss most of your Kintaro's attacks, which is ridiculous. Shoot her in the face! Okay, let's see if Goro is gonna lend his X-ray on her. And here we go. Oh, it's been a while since I saw Goro's X-ray. Oh! <gasps> that was painful. I think. It looked painful. Might have been not that bad, but it looked painful. Don't make me laugh. Ah, 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 ah. <clears throat> Let's get serious. This is a serious matter, guys. Okay, honestly, I think I had enough. Oh, <gasps> no, Diamond Kitana team. I have to play. I have to play Diamond Kitana team. And it's a good Kitana team without the Ronin one. This could be a good challenge. And it's fully maxed. Well, none of them have gear. One of them have gear. The rest ain't got no gear on. Bam! Shao Kahn just destroying them. I don't even need anybody else. Wow, I was expecting more from Kitana team. Bleeds and fires and all kinds of shenanigans we're doing now. Come on. Bleed this girl. Wow, what a trash. Such bad combos, it's ridiculous. I want to do brutality to her. I want to see her without her head. It's going to be beautiful. 40%, exactly. Bam! She's still pretty without her head, so not a big loss. Alright, final one is going to be MK11 team. With Cold War Sub Zero, interesting choice, but maybe maybe they didn't have MK11 Sub Zero and they thought it was gonna work the same. Well, not quite, but good effort. Fight. Bam. Okay. Uh-oh. Kabow! Too fast. He's too fast. I don't like it. Bleed! Damn it, I, it always ha happens on the weakest characters. That's unfortunate. And we did it. Go! The tallest team in the universe have won a faction wars match. What an achievement. Yeah, these guys are tall, but they're pretty damn stupid, let's be honest. Not the smartest tool in the shed for sure, but. They gotta work what they got. And what they got is lots of arms, lots of muscles. So yeah, good team. Thank you for suggesting it, and I'll see you in the next one. Huge thanks to members of the Patreons. Goodbye.